I have fixed over 700 NAS devices in the last couple of years, and today I'm gonna to show you how to diagnose and fix this Synology DS1010 Plus. Now I purchased this unit off of eBay in a as is for parts condition, and when I plug it in, we have a dead no power fault. Let's open it up and find out why. We have five screws on the back, and now we can slide the cover back and up and away. Now, because this is a DS1010 Plus, that means this unit was manufactured in 2010, and that means the power supply is very old. Now, one thing I've noticed with older Synology units when they have a dead no power is most often it is actually going to be power supply related, which is this module over here. One way we can test it is by disconnecting the power cable here, and I'm going to plug in my power supply testing tool. I'm gonna to plug the power supply back in, and my testing tool is completely dead. I'm not getting 12 volts, 3.3, or my five volts. Let's move that to the side. And for comparison, this is a new power supply. Go ahead and plug it in. Apply power. And sure enough, the power supply tool is turning on. So we can see we have 11.8 volts for our negative 12. We have 5.1 volts, five volts, 12.1 for our positive 12 volts, and 3.3 volts. Now this is a secondary 12 volt line, which I don't think applies for this power supply, so that's why that's beeping like that. This one might seem like it's a straightforward repair, so let's replace the power supply first, and then we'll do a few further tests. I have one screw over here. Flip the unit over. Let's disconnect these two connectors next. This one, the clip is really in there. Okay, there we go. There is a little tab that you have to press down here. Now be careful because this metal can be sharp and cut you. Now we can remove the second screw over here. And finally, we have two more screws at the end. And here. So let's remove this. We have a few zip ties. And let's install our replacement power supply. Now my replacement doesn't actually have the tabs at the end, but that's okay. We'll plug the first one upside down and the second one right side up. We'll plug in the motherboard. Now let's plug it back in. And I already see my blue light coming on. My fans are spinning. So let's put it to the side for a couple minutes while it initializes. And let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this power supply in the meantime. So we have a couple of screws on the side. And one last one over here. And I just heard this unit beep, so it sounds like it's initialized. Let's open this up first, and then we'll take a closer look at the unit in a second. There we go. Now I'm looking for the capacitors here, trying to spot if I can find any bulging ones. If there is a defective capacitor, that is typically an easier fix. That is not the case here today. So I'm gonna opt for a replacement power supply instead of trying to fix it on a component level just because these are fairly affordable. The replacement I got on Amazon for 45 bucks, I'll have links for those in the video description down below if you're interested in buying one, the same one that we get. Uh, they're high quality. I know you can get cheaper ones, but a lot of the cheaper ones actually arrive defective. So um, a little bit more money, but at least you're sure to get a working power supply. All right, so if we take a look, we have our blue light over here is steady. We have our status light is blinking. We don't have any LAN lights on because I don't have my ethernet plugged in yet. Uh, and I do not have an alert light on, which is good. So let's go ahead and plug in our ethernet here. And we do have our LAN light powering on. Let's take a look at the computer and make sure that the unit is detectable. All right, so we just hit search and we have the DS1010 is showing up. I just inserted a drive. Let's try connecting again. All right. So I'm actually gonna power it off. We're not gonna do the full install. Okay, just beep. It's gonna take a second to power down. So there is something I wanna do before we call this a good repair, and that is to replace the CMOS battery. So let's remove the motherboard and take a look at it. We're gonna unplug the power supply again. We have a few connectors here. Be gentle when wiggling them. These are fragile. We have two screws over here at the top and two at the bottom that are silver. Now we should be able to wiggle this off. 
flip back over to the motherboard and we have six screws. Now I'm gonna be lifting the motherboard away and out like that. And we'll remove the button cable. I am also noticing a lot of dust in here, so we're gonna use a blower to get rid of all that extra dust. I'm gonna use my tweezers here to pop it out. We're gonna to go to DC volts. And we're gonna do a quick check. And you know what? It's completely dead. So we like to use the Panasonic branded batteries just because Panasonic is a reliable brand. If we look at this one, we should be getting 3.3. And we are. So that means that our replacement battery is good. We'll go ahead and pop that in. I'm also noticing some dust on this heat sink. So let's go ahead and use our blower, clean that up. Now that we've cleaned up the motherboard and the unit with our blower, we can go ahead and install everything back together. We're gonna start by plugging in our button connector first and then line up the motherboard with the screw holes. Gently pressing it down so that our backplane connector down here plugs in nice and gently. Okay, everything looks good. No wires or cables look pinched. Now we can screw it back in. We'll plug our CPU fan back in and our two large fans. So this does complete our repair. If you have a Synology DS1010 Plus that you would like to send in for us to fix, we do offer flat rate services which come with a one year warranty. If you don't have a unit and you would like to outright purchase one, we have some of these available for sale on eBay and every single one of our NASs, when they are sold, there is a sizable contribution that is made to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So if you wanna support them, support us, we'll have those available on eBay and I'll have links in the video description down below. If you found the video helpful or useful, leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.